Well, imagine this. Shares of Sprint, they're rising in after-hours trading. That's after President-elect Trump announced that the company is going to bring back and rebase 5,000 jobs here in the United States. So, joining me now, our political power panel, founder of the Great America Pack, Eric Beach, and Democratic strategist, Danielle McLaughlin. Danielle, I'm going to start with you. We were talking about this in the commercial break. No surprise that Sprint is going up because Sprint wants to be purchased by T-Mobile. There were issues during the current administration that that might violate some kind of antitrust issues. Now we have Sprint making nice with the president-elect and bringing 5,000 jobs back to the United States. Perhaps a deal will be struck and T-Mobile will get its prize. Perhaps a deal may be struck. We shall see. There's a reason why we have federal antitrust law and that's because we want to protect consumers against monopolies. So on the one hand this is wonderful news as you said in the last segment all jobs bringing back jobs it's all good mm -hmm. but we also have to be careful that there isn't this game being played between the president and uh, entities who want to merge but might not otherwise be able to that there's not some sort of trade between jobs and this notion of um, mon monopoly maintenance. Eric I mean do you have a, a, a thought on this is there perhaps more to what we've just witnessed and and I I'm making the assumption that it's the deal that will be pending and get announced at, at some point about T-Mobile and Sprint, or is this just a good old-fashioned, we got 5,000 jobs coming to the States? Yeah, I think it's a good old-fashioned, we got a lot more jobs coming back. I think it's about 8,000 in today's announcement um, yes. with the other company as well. And, and the reality is this, is that when Trump ran as president, he talked about creating an environment for workers. And what this does is it brings back more jobs into the U.S., but it also gives our CEOs confidence going forward that, you know, we're going to reduce you know, the corporate taxes. You know, we're going to be able to repatriate money that's, you know, in a meaningful way if needed. And so we don't have to go offshores anymore to be able to do that because, you know, our CEOs and our businesses are going to have, you know, confident that, confidence that you know, the, the president-elect and his staff is going to be able to shape policies that are going to help flourish and create more jobs. But, but, but Eric, as someone who's been held, for lack of a better term, hostage by, say, AT&T and Verizon, I don't think I would object to a merger of something like Sprint and T-Mobile. Certainly, there's got to be goodwill with the administration-elect that's coming into power for that kind of merger to go forward now that Sprint has made an active effort to bring jobs back to the United States. You can't ignore that, can you? No, sure. You, I mean, you can't ignore it, but at the same time, again, it's, a, you know, most American CEOs, they don't want to take jobs overseas and, you know, they, they want to do what's best for their business. And at the end of the day, you know, they do care about their workers. And I'm just not as skeptical as most in saying, oh, well, there must be some deal that's in place for this. You know, I do agree that, you know, we need to understand what the, what the deal is. But at the same time, I mean, it's a good thing that, you know, we're going to create more jobs in the U.S., we're going to keep jobs here at home, we're going to, you know, deregulate where we need to deregulate, and we're going to make sure that we reduce, you know, the corporate taxes. And I think this is a step in the right direction. Danielle, do you want to respond to that? Because personally, this kind of deal-making with government does not upset some people. If this was a, look, bring the jobs back, we won't give you a hassle over a merger, what would be wrong with that? Well, this sort of choosing, uh, picking winners and losers has been sort of widely discussed within the economic community. It's not a solution that will bring all of the jobs back that we need. It's not a long-term sustainable solution to bring jobs. We need policies in place that are going to do that. I think what Donald Trump is doing is frankly brilliant. It's good because it's jobs, but it's good from a branding perspective. His carrier deal was enormously popular, and I think it's one way that he's going to do, uh, one way that he's going to basically keep campaigning over the next four years to remind people of the good job that he's doing. Eric, could, the, could this very quickly, could this backfire on the president no, look, This isn't like the Solyndra deal uh, under President Obama. I mean, these are real companies. These aren't startup companies. These, you know, these aren't subsidies that are, you know, needed to make the business go. These businesses are going. They have a better deal across, you know, across seas, and this time they don't. So, we're, we're shaping the formula that's going to help U.S. companies stay in the U.S., and it's a great thing. Eric Beach, Danielle McLaughlin, thank you both for being with us. Britney Spears.